Hi guys, this is Virag from Bionic Buzz and tonight we are in the Avalon Hollywood and we are reporting of the red carpet of the 36th annual Huading Awards. Please stay with us, stay tuned because you're going to meet with many amazing filmmakers from Asia and also from the US. Nice to meet you, I am Virag from Bionic Buzz and please introduce yourself. Oh, it's, it's very nice. My name is Simon Franklin. I'm the composer for Avatar The Way of Water and the song at the end of the film Nothing Is Lost, which I wrote with The Weeknd and Swedish House Mafia. And we're nominated tonight and I'm here supporting the film. Uh, as a composer, do you have any connection to the Chinese music making, writing music, composing music? Um... Oh yes, I've, I've, spent, I've gone to China many times. I've done films in China many times. I worked, um, my first experience was a film called Wolf Totem, which was done with uh, Jean-Jacques Arnaud, the French director. But then I did um, Xiaolong Sheng. I did um, Curse of Turandot with him a couple of years ago. I have many projects running in China. So yes, I have a connection with China. So when you are working uh, for a Chinese uh, production, in a Chinese production. Uh, is it different? What is the expectation from them? Do, they, do, you know, do you have to know about the Chinese music history and you know everything about the Chinese music or they want you to bring into your culture and your education? I try and provide a blend. They come to me because I provide a Western Hollywood sound. But uh, yes, I need to, I've worked with Mongolian nomad singers um, I've gone into Inner Mongolia and worked with them. I've, um, I've written an oratorio, a big opera piece, 90 minutes, in Mandarin. So uh, now I don't speak Mandarin, but I could write a 90 minute piece that was commissioned by the city of Shanghai about the, um, the creation myths of China. Um, so uh, I've written that. I've, so I, I, I've done my time. I understand. I can write for Chinese instruments just fine. So are you still uh, involved in this world? you still traveling a lot to China? Say that again, sir. you still have a connection with China? Yes, and in fact I'm going to go to Beijing later this year to meet with a well-known director about a film uh, to, that I may do later this year. What is the, yeah, so what is the future project? I can't tell you. It's good. It's very good. I get it's all... something? It's going to be a TV show or a film no, production or an opera? It's, it's, a, it's a major film and um, it's a major director, and I'll be looking forward to doing it, uh, presuming that we both like each other. Let me guess, is it a Marvel movie? I'm not going to tell you anything else. All right, thank you so much, and please share your social media with us. Me too. Okay. Yeah, can you share some website or social media with us before you... Um, so, um, I have a... I'm trying to think what I should say. My, my Twitter is my name, Simon Franklin. That's probably the easiest one to deal with. Nice to meet you. I am Virak from Bionic Bus, and uh, you are one of the nominees tonight. What does it mean for you? It's absolutely crazy. Um, yeah, I didn't quite expect this to happen at all. I was very, very moved and touched when I found out. Um, this has just been an incredible journey, and it feels really lovely to end it here. Yeah. And you earned this um, nomination of the movie Tar. Am I correct? So uh, the Tar went so far this year. The Oscars and uh, Kate Blanchett got the best actress and critic choice so how, how did you you know how was your experience in the whole award season where did you attend and um, how did you celebrate oh I'm just I'm just so proud of of them and I, I yeah it's really really moving to see them get all this recognition I mean they both work so tirelessly I mean the whole cast and crew Todd Kate all Everyone, I mean, yeah, so they really deserve it, and I'm so, so proud of them. We've all become like this lovely family. Can you remember, can you hi highlight some of your shooting experiences on the, to working in the tar? Oh, yeah, I mean, it was an amazing experience, both in, because I got to play the cello and then act all these wonderful scenes with Kate. I mean, she was the most amazing screen partner. I mean, she's one of the most amazing actresses and yeah, the whole thing was just wonderful and I really loved working with Todd and then um, Nina and Noemi as well. So, I mean, all of it was just incredible and the orchestra as well, so yeah. After this successful year and season, what is the next project you're working on? I am looking forward to lots of concerts, um, but yeah, I just released the recording, so 
promoting that as well. So it's a really exciting time. Yeah. yeah congratulations and thank you so much for sharing it. Please share your social media with us. Thank you. Um, yeah, so Hikawa Cellist on Instagram. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you. Hi, nice to meet you. I am Virag from Bionic Bus and please introduce yourself first. I'm Catherine Kelly Lang from The Bold and the Beautiful. And what's nice and what's important is that we get to all come together at, in one evening, like tonight for example, and just celebrate and, and give the awards and recognize greatness around the world, you know, from every other country. So that's really special, that's important. I love the show that I'm on, The Bold and the Beautiful, because we're international too. We, sh we play in many, many countries. Is it in China too? It's Channel 2 here, CBS, but in other countries it airs mostly nighttime and uh, it's been wonderful to be able to travel and work in other countries and just be a part of the international entertainment world. Before this event, did you have any connection to the Asian filmmaker or television community? No, but I admire them very much, so I'm very excited. I always forget the name of the, the movie that won the Oscars because it's <laughs> a confusing title. But it, everything everywhere all at once. Yeah, it's very good. You got it. It was incredible. So that's exciting to be doing this right after watching them win the Oscar. So tonight will you present a, an, an award, I guess? So what is it? What is the award that you will present tonight? I am presenting the Best Supporting Actor of Film, Best Supporting Actress of Film, and then also a song, uh, the music. So. You are on a TV show for a long time, but do you have any side project that you are working on currently? I always have side projects <laughs> I'm working on. Um, I'm also in fashion. We have a clothing store in Beverly Hills. I have also an online clothing store, a different one. I do other film and TV projects in different countries, also like Italy and Greece. And um, also here, I do other film projects here. So. We'll see. There's there's a few things in the works. Maybe you're going to travel to Europe this year. Maybe. Yes, it's possible. Actually, even with The Bold and the Beautiful, we're going to maybe do a remote in Italy. Okay. So they're working on that right now. Yes. Well, thank you so much for stopping by. And uh, if you would like to share your social media with us. Oh, yes. It's Catherine Kelly Lang on Instagram. And I think Twitter's the same. Uh, so, yeah. Catherine Kelly Lang, follow. <laughs> Check it out. Nice to meet you. I am Virak from Bionic Bus, and you are? Matthew Postlethwaite, an actor. What is your role tonight? What brought you here? Will you present an award? I am. I'm presenting three awards in the TV categories, so I'm pretty excited uh, to do that. Yeah. What is your connection uh, to the Chinese filmmaking and television industry? Do you have any like personal connection? We're, we're working with a lot of Asian uh, producers right now, uh, but in specifically for the TV sector, I'm a TV actor myself, and I've done a lot of of TV shows, so I'm excited to, to come here and present. Yeah. What was your uh, experience to working with an Asian uh, talent or an Asian uh, producer or uh, actor or director? So is it a different, is it some cultural difference? You know, each actor is different in their own approach. Um, the female um, Asian actress that I recently worked with uh, in The Great Artist, um, she was very unique, but I really think that comes down to her and her choices as an actress rather than any, any difference in ethnicity. Uh, phenomenal actress, by the way. So what is the project you are currently working on? We're currently working on The Great Artist. There's another film called Bunny. There's a film I just wrapped last week that I can't really tell you about. Uh, and. Yeah, there's a lot going on, so I just, it's fun, like I'm working as an actor, I get to do kind of my dream and what I've always wanted to do in my life, yeah. And please share your social media with us in the end. Yeah, it's Matthew Postlethwaite, so Matthew, P-O-S-T-L-E-T-H-W-A-I-T-E, it's long, but it's just my name. Thank you so much. Thank you. Nice to meet you, and uh, we are on a red carpet tonight, but it's about the connection of China and the U.S., and you are here as uh, to represent Puerto Rico, <laughs> so, <laughs> so please share something about your stuff, because I didn't know your title, I know you as an actress from the Bay, but I didn't know that you were uh, Puerto Rico's 
most beautiful woman, but it's oh totally deserved. But please share something about first that. No, oh, thank you. Um, yes, well, my career starts uh, when I was Miss Puerto Rico in 2018. And then I keep working in the TV, in the, in the Latin TV, as a TV host. And then I was like, okay, I want to do something different. I want to try different things. In Puerto Rico, when I was younger, I studied five years acting in, in this, this school, this awesome school in El San Juan. And I was like, okay, I think it's time for me and to, to experience and to keep um, learning and preparing myself. And so I went to Mexico. I went to Mexico. I started working there. I did a TV series. I did two movies. And then this huge opportunity came. Um, I was waiting for it. I was begging you, God, please. Um, the Bay, the Bay series. It was my my huge opportunity because I'm here. I just moved from Puerto Rico because I have something here. You know, I have the Bay. I have the Bay family with me. They are always so supportive, and I'm so grateful that I can be here. You went back for uh, the last season to uh, make some uh, filming in Puerto Rico. Am I correct about it? Excuse me. Do you you went back to Puerto Rico, no, for uh, filming uh, the Bay, and uh, so you have to you went home. <laughs> Yes, yes. I went back to Puerto Rico. I worked there. I worked in this movie called Panama with Mel Gibson and Cole Hauser. And when I was in Puerto Rico, I, I, cast, I, I was doing the casting for the Bay. And then is what I come here last year. I came here. Um, we filmed the, the season, the season seven that is out now in Tubi. And then they were like, okay, Kiara, um, we want you in the show. We want you more. So um, I start as a guest star, and now I'm a serious regular. So it's, it's very excited. As an actress, because we are in an event what is Chinese, and uh, so it's bilingual tonight. Um, as an actress, was it a challenge for you to use not your mother language on camera? Yes, yes. You know, um, in Spanish also, it's a big thing. Like, people will think that because I could be in Mexico doing, like, um, movies or TV series, it's going to be easy for me because it's in Spanish. But no, actually, no, it's not, not easy because as a Puerto Rican, I have my accents. And, and Mexicans have their, their Spanish accents. So I think both, um, like, in the Latin um, industry, the Latin TV, and here is difficult for me. Here, um, for... For now, I'm gonna be a Latina, always. I mean, <laughs> look at my ass. Um, Your English is super great, so I, I, I can't see why not couldn't be a American Hollywood actress. Thank you, thank you so much. I'm trying, I'm trying, but I mean, I just move here. I um, keep training, um, keep um, um, practicing my English. Um, I don't think that is like something that's gonna maybe stop me for, for achieving things. Um, this is just, I see it as a, as a new dream, you know, as, as a new chapter um, in my life and I'm gonna embrace it and I'm so, so excited for new things to come. And to share something about tonight, do you have any roles tonight or uh, you are came to support the community? Yes, I'm presenting three awards along with Christos Andrews. He's the lead in, in the debate series. And I'm so excited. It's my first time in the Cutin Awards. Um, I saw Zendaya is nominated. I don't know if she's going to be here. I hope she can be here because I want to be here so bad. <laughs> well, thank you so much. And please share your social media with us in the end. Yeah, thank you. It's Kiara dot Liz PR. Kiara K I A R A dot Liz PR. Thank you so much. Hi, nice to meet you. I am Virak from Bionic Bus, and please introduce yourself first. Hi, I'm Sophia Banks, and I'm a film director from the U.S. and I'm judge on the judge panel tonight. Yeah. What is your connection uh, to the community of the Asian filmmakers and filmmaker community? Uh, I'm Australian, so one of the movies I'm working on, the producing partner works with uh, people here. So, But I've shot commercial, I'm a commercial director, so I've shot in China and stuff like that as well, yeah. It's pretty rare when we, when we meet a female director in this business. I mean, we meet some, but not too many. Uh, how was, what, what, is, what was your, uh, your path? How did you arrive here to this stage in your life? No, definitely. And I'm action and science fiction, so it's rare. Um, it was a long route. I came through fashion, so I worked uh, in costume and then shooting commercials with like the Kardashians and different people through commercials into film. What was the biggest challenge in this career? Um, 
trying to shoot a movie in the amount of days they give you. <laughs> you always had a doubt about yourself. Did you did you have that feeling that maybe I can't do it or it's too difficult? I should choose something else. I mean, I feel as humans we have that all the time. So I think part of the challenge to get anywhere is to just decide to not listen to that voice and and kind of move through it. You know, yeah. And today you are a judge, as you mentioned. Uh, what was your perspective? Who did you choose and who did you select the movies that get awarded tonight? Yeah. Um, I think because of coming from a director, I'm able to look at the different films from, I think they're looking for global films, but you know, I'm able to look at the cinematography and sound. So I just went for the best on every category. Did you find it a strong selection, what you got already to, you know, to choose from? Yeah, I think it's a good year of movies. Yeah. Is there any uh, differences in, uh, to be an Asian filmmaker and an Australian filmmaker and a US filmmaker? So is it a different challenges for the filmmakers? Yeah, I think it's different. Like one of my best friends is a Indonesian, big Indonesian film director. And I think uh, being Australian, we're used to a lot of American content, but I think there's amazing films that I love coming from Asia. And so there is a different storytelling and a different voice. So I think there's, you know, directors like that can cross over, but yeah. And uh, so last question is that, uh, okay, two more questions. What is, the, what is your next project? <laughs> Um, I have a spy action movie and a big science fiction YA movie. Yeah. And please share your social media with us in the end. Oh yeah, Sophia S O P H I A Banks B A N K S C. And we can find you anywhere in Instagram, yeah. Facebook, Twitter, and your website maybe. Yes, uh, Instagram and Twitter, uh, and my website is sophiabanks.com. All right, thank you so much. Enjoy the evening, thanks. Yes, Finola Hughes from General Hospital, which is a soap here. So uh, I'm asking everybody tonight that what is the connection, if you have any connection with the Chinese film and, uh, and uh, television industry or community? Well, only that I like to watch it. I mean, I think that's my connection. I really, really enjoy Asian movies and movies from anywhere, like Persia, Iran, Korea. I, I'm a big global market um, movie intake person. Do you think is there any difference if we are the audience, as, as you mentioned, that you're watching the, the TV shows from other countries, uh, do you think it's a cultural difference can make a difference too as an audience? I just love watching other cultures and I find oftentimes movies from Asia um, and perhaps Iran or Korea just around there's something very real about it and um, sometimes it's because maybe they don't have as much money to make the movies so therefore they, there's more imagination involved in trying to get it off the ground and I just find some of their movies very real. So you are on the General Hospital and uh, you are already I don't know where is the season right now did you just we don't have seasons. We shoot all year round. We shoot 250. Yes. Uh, show. We've been on the air for 60 years. This year is our 60th anniversary, and we are so proud. It's amazing, and um, it's just, you know, I think when you hit a chord with an audience and people love coming back to watch characters, that's the same with any kind of show. Then you know we have sustaining power, and it's been great. So when you are an American uh, actress and when you are walking around around in the town, people recognize you. Isn't it? But it doesn't bother you that uh, they are basically things that you are actually the character. Is it happened already? Well, you know, one time I was pregnant and um, I got on an elevator, and this woman said to me and asked me if I was carrying the child of someone that was on the show, and I was like, well, no, actually, I'm married in real life. And uh, yeah, so sometimes it does intertwine. But you know, on the whole, our fans are so wonderful and just so involved in our show because we're in their homes five days a week. So tonight, we are here in this event. Uh, what is your role? Will you uh, present an award? What is the award? Um, it's a uh, supporting actress, supporting actor and global song, and I think I know which song is going to win. I have a, I have a hunch. 
Well, thank you so much for stopping by and please share your social media just in case with us. I'm Finola Falona on Instagram. Thank you so much. Thanks. Nice to meet you. I am Virak from Bionic Bus and please introduce yourself. Pardon me, I'm Chris Lavar. I'm going to be rapping tonight, freestyling, believe it or not. Okay, so who did you prepare? Well, when it comes to freestyling, you don't really prepare. Um, but I was on America's Got Talent and some other shows, and I just rap about what I'm looking at. But this event, there's a lot of input because of all the movies and television and all the nominees. So I'm going to try to put that together, use my vocal cords and tie it up with the Wadeen Awards. And but I'm sure you made some sketches. And no, I, I mean, like some. No, I haven't. I'm going to make it up off the top of the head. Watch me spark it. You're wearing blue, but we're standing on a red carpet. Freestyling, I got it going on. Where we were at the Avalon Theater, no greater. Add like a calculator, cold like a refrigerator. I pause now and I come back later. Doing what I do, I always come through. I never hear a boo. You look pretty in blue. Wow, thank you. That was amazing. So when did you recognize uh, that you have a talent for this? When I was like six years old. I was rhyming since I was a little kid, so first time I heard rap, I was like, wow, I do that. And now I'm working on a cartoon. I do fun and educational hip-hop music for children, and I wrote a cartoon called Rhymeville, so it'll be coming soon. That's very good. So any other project what you want to share in the future? Well, that's the main project. I'm also working on a TV pilot called Hiding in Compton, and I'm on another TV pilot called The Good News, and I play the rapping weatherman. How this community found you to uh, perform tonight? What is your connection? Um, Christine Shu from UpLive and Asia Innovations. I work with them, and she's a good friend of mine, and she introduced me to Mr. Wong. I performed at his house last week, and here I am. <laughs> That's fantastic. Thank you so much, and please share your social media with us. Thank you. Um, at Lavrar Chris, it's spelled L A V R A R C H R I S. Lavrar Chris. Thank you. Thank you. Nice to meet you. I am Virag from Bionic Bus, and please introduce yourself. I'm Christiana Loken, actress and producer. What is your draw tonight here? So, tonight I am uh, presenting three awards in the best global uh, TV. Uh, our area with Phil with sorry can we start this again sure, sure, I got sure. Tongue it's okay it's okay I can ask again <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> so what, what is your draw tonight what brought you here tonight I am here to present three awards in the best global TV department so we have actors and actresses and also um, best overall show so how can you compete to an American or a European movie to a Chinese movie? Yeah, so um, I did a film uh, a while back called In the Name of the King. And uh, our second unit director was Tony Ching, the famous uh, director. He's known for his wire work and action films. He did House of Flying Daggers, among others. And uh, it was credible, incredible working with him and the wire work that I did. And I also worked with the Cirque du Soleil troupe and we shot it in Vancouver. So their style of filmmaking is so um, visual. It's like a kaleidoscope of colors and, and textures and very, there's just a lot of fluidity to it. So um, I got a flavor of that style by working with Tony Cheng. Um, and hopefully um, I'll be working with other uh, Chinese directors and actors very soon. What is the project you are currently working on? So I've got three coming up. Uh, one that my company Trio Entertainment produced called Vice and Virtue. Um, and that's a story about our decision making process around why we choose what we choose. Um, so Vice and Virtue will be out later this year. And then we have Darkness of Man. Um, where I play Jean-Claude Van Damme's love interest. It's a neo-noir style film directed by James Cullen Bresak. And, uh, and then I just wrapped a film called No Address, um, which underscores the plight of the homelessness crisis that we're currently experiencing here in America. So a very important film that we're hoping to raise awareness with. Directed by Julia Verdon.
But please share your social media with us before you leave. Yes, indeed. So Instagram, I'm KS Loken. Twitter, at Loken Kristana. And then I have the official Kristana Loken Facebook page. Thank you so much. Thank you. You've got a great smile. <laughs> Thank you. So I am Virak from Bionic Bus, and please introduce yourself. Uh, my name is Tom Barkley. I'm Ross White, and we are the writer-directors of An Irish Goodbye, the short film nominated tonight. Congratulations for the nomination. What does it mean for you? Yeah, it's a real thrill, you know, to get to be here, especially for short film and emerging filmmakers. It's, it's very rare for the films to find a, a platform or a big afterlife. So to be at events like this is, it, it, you know, it's just really heartening to get to uh, share the film and for the film to find an audience as well. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's wonderful. It's such a fun event. Was it surprising to be successful in uh, front of a different, uh, different audience, like a Chinese audience? It's, it's totally different. It's a cultural difference. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. You know, I think the thing about our little film, we made it in Ireland, but it's had a real universal kind of uh, appeal and people have really connected with the themes and that's been really heartening for us. You know, it's quite a specific little uh, part of the world, but it's traveled so well and people have really connected with it. So uh, what is the next project? It's very successful, but what is the next? We've just finished what will be our third short film together, which is called The Golden West, which we'll be doing festivals uh, this year. And then we're going to lock ourselves away and start working on a debut feature film as well. So yeah, hopefully that will be uh, within the next 18 months or something like that. Are you working in uh, the States or you are actually flew here from Ireland? We flew out here, yeah. yeah I we mean, do. yeah, we, we're sort of back and forth from here quite a lot at the moment, but um, but yeah, we've got a foot in both in both camps. Both sides of the Atlantic. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, thank you so much, and please share your social media with us. Thank, thank you, you so much, Thanks. thank you. Social, social media, oh. I'm at Tom underscore Barkley, and you're... I'm at Ross J. White. Maybe a website also? Yeah, and the, and, so the, and the film as well is uh, an Irish goodbye film and the website is Floodlight Pictures. That's our, that's our company. company. Thank you so much and congrats. Hi, nice to meet you. I am Virak from Bionic Bus and please introduce yourself. I'm Florian Zeller, uh, director of The Sun, the film The Sun. Uh, so uh, I'm asking everybody today that what is their personal connection uh, with the Chinese filmmaking and film industry? It's many things, but the first um, connection that I have has nothing to do with filmmaking somehow. Just it's, it's like a personal connection. My son is uh, passionate about China and he speaks the language. I do not. So that's my connection to this world, is his fascination for it. Do you think that the, is there any cultural differences uh, if you are an, um, if you want to make a movie in China? So if you uh, if you're working in China as an actor, director, whatever filmmaker, uh, do you have to deal with the cultural differences to make something uh, for the aud audience of, of China or no? I'm not sure because you know cinema is a language in itself. You know beyond languages, and of course there are differences in every countries. But the beauty of cinema is to be able to, to express things, to share emotions, wherever you're from, I would say. What is the next project you're working on? Or what is the current project? Um, I don't know. I'm just out of this uh, long uh, run of uh, the promotion of The Sun, and um, I don't know yet. All right. Thank you so much for stopping by. And please share your social media with us or your website. Thank you very much. What is your website or social media? Um, I don't have that much, just Instagram, I would say. Yeah. Share with us, please, that. I don't know the, the address, it's Florence and Official, I would say. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hi, nice to meet you. How are you? I'm good, how are you? Good, good. I'm Virak from Bionic Bus, and please introduce yourself. Hi, all. My name is Mackenzie Brook, and I'll be performing tonight. What will be the performance? Um, I'm doing a music performance. I'm singing a country pop rock song. It's my new song that I'm going to be releasing next month. It's called Best Friends. I'm super excited about it. How did you select it uh, for, uh, to performing tonight? What is your connection to the community? Um, honestly, I just kind of got reached out to to come here and come perform. At first, it was to come and like just you know enjoy the show and watch everyone get their awards but you know then the opportunity came along to perform and I'm just so excited about it um, it's a dream come true <laughs> 
So what is next project? Because tonight you are performing a new song, but are you working on something bigger, like an album or something? Well, okay. I'm first doing all singles release. I'm actually, I have, I have over 40 songs written. We're actually going to be going to the studio and recording all of those. So, you know, an album or two might be in there. <laughs> Fantastic. Thank you so much for stopping by and please share your social media with us. You guys can follow me at Mackenzie Brook, M-C-K-N-C-I-B-R-O-O-K-E. Love you.